Hey guys, here today to review NXT TakeOver London. The show's just gone off air and wow, this show was awesome. This was so good. Like, all of the matches, all five matches were good to great. Um, it's such an easy two hours of wrestling. I'll just get straight into it. Opener was Asuka vs. Emma, which was a really good opener. It just amazes me how, like, from like a couple of days ago at um, TLC, the way the women are booked to way the women are booked today, it just blows my mind. This match was awesome. It had some really great kind of technical stuff at the beginning. The crowd was so into Asuka. Only thing annoying was Dana Brooke didn't shut up the whole match, which was a bit frustrating, but this match was awesome. The last couple of minutes were just sick. This is a great opener. I really enjoyed this. Next, we had Dash and Dawson against Enzo and Cass for the Tag Team Championships. This match exceeded expectation. This was awesome as well. This was so good. Because this match has told such a great story of Enzo and Cass really wanting the championships and kind of overcome the injury. Um, Cass sold the leg so well in the home stretch. And Enzo, oh, Enzo did sell the arm really well, in the, especially in the heat. I was just on the edge of my seat the whole match. The finish was absolutely mental. Some really good near falls. Crowd was so into Enzo and Cass. This match was awesome. Then we had Apollo Crews against Baron Corbin, which was the weakest match in the show. But even that, it wasn't a bad match by any stretch of the imagination. Um, Apollo Crews with Wuhan Nation is really fantastic. Uh, had some pretty ridiculous spots here. Baron Corbin played the bad guy. He said a pretty funny quote saying, um, Apollo will go back to Ring of Honor despite Apollo Crews not ever working for Ring of Honor. So I thought it was quite funny. Um, Baron Corbin was an absolute jackass here, which is just fantastic for his character. The match was pretty good. Give it two and three quarter stars. Like, Definitely above average match. It was good stuff. Weakest match in the whole show. But that kind of shows you how strong the whole show is. Then we go into Bailey versus Nia Jax for the Women NXT Women's Championships. Right. Um, when it comes to in ring kind of match, like this point wasn't great. Like the in ring work was fine. It was quite basic. But this match has some of the best psychology and tight storytelling I have seen from match in 2015. The crowd A was so into Bailey, and it's made the match so much better, in my opinion. The crowd was so into it, it made me on the edge of my seat the whole way through. Bailey sold fantastically. She really sold like she was being thrown out like a rag doll, getting completely beaten up, even in her kick out, she was barely getting the shoulder up after Nia Jack was throwing as much as she could at her. The kind of the whole angle behind trying to knock Nia Jax down, trying to knock her down, trying to knock her down, and then trying to go for the sleeper was just fantastic. Just the crowd was so into it. I was just on the edge of my seat the whole match. It was quite slow. It was a kind of match people might not be into, which is perfectly fine. I thought it was absolutely awesome. It's just utterly fantastic match. Just it's why I love professional wrestling. Because you don't need to be the best wrestlers in the world to have the best matches this match kind of goes to show like Bailey and Nia Jax are honestly not, not fantastic wrestlers per se but Bailey is one of the best storytellers in the world today male or female she is unreal she's unreal and this match just goes to show how good she really is because this was just so so tight storytelling I was so into it the finish was awesome it came across really well Main event, Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe. This match was great. This was really fantastic. Match the night. Great main event. Uh, again, just so simple storytelling. And the feud has been so simple, but just so good. This match was just awesome. It's just awesome. It's like these guys go there for 15, 20 minutes to have a great match. They both are just fantastic workers. And they had a fantastic match. Finn Balor's entrance was phenomenal. So over. Like, this guy is going to be a star. Going to be a star. There's nothing holding him back from being a star. He's just awesome. This match was just fantastic. Some great near falls down the stretch. Love the drama on the when Finn Balor on the top finally hit the coup de grace. That's a great mini story. For this match was really fantastic. This show was fantastic, guys. Absolutely loved it. Go out of your way to see this. Such an easy two hours of wrestling. Just absolutely fantastic show. Great stuff. Really great stuff.